Hi, I'm Theseus, and I want to walk you through um, just the process of when I'm building something. This particular piece uh, is a, a kind of a shroud. It's going to house like a kegerator and like a bar top. Um, but uh, it was a, a kind of a big piece, and I chose to build it a certain way to give it the most uh, structural stability. Uh, and I want to walk you through it. So what I was trying to accomplish is uh, doubled up. Uh, this is Baltic. Um, and I wanted to do a very, very strong joint. So I did a combination of a butt joint and a miter joint. Uh, works really well with a big piece like this. Uh, I'm about to hide, I'm able to hide a lot of things and I'll show you um, with this jig that I made up. So this is a prototype jig I made for, to make that joint. Uh, and actually to make it easy for one person to put it together as strong as possible. Um, so. Uh, we have a mortise tenon right here, mortise tenon. This was cut on the CNC machine, put in a vacuum press. Uh, this represents the top. This is the top piece. So this top piece would be glued together in our vacuum press. A mortise and tenon would be cut on the CNC machine. Upon assembly, the mortise side, which is one layer of that side, pops into place there. You've got pre-drilled holes. You would use a driver to zipper your way all the way down to the end. So now you have double single. And there, it's waiting for its mate, which is right here. CNC cut, alignment dowels. You glue it up your spreader, pop it into place, and then there you just made a really nice tight seam. You do a little tape glue up along the top, a nice pretty seam that's also very, very strong. Is it?